Friday is Rafi Media Villa from Criticologos. Young, thank you for taking your time to talk about the series. I absolutely was blown away with everything from the story, the performance, everything. I mean, it's just so different. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. It's lovely to meet you. So I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to ruin the surprise. I don't want to enter into details because I think part of part of how this the story, the reason the story works so well is because it not everything is not what it seems. But so I wonder when you when you got the project, when they when they pitched your project, what was it that told you, hey, I need to do this? This is something different, this is something unique. Um, that's a really good question. Yeah. Um it's I think it, it was one of those ones where I think um I think you hear a lot of actors say this, but it was a part where I was like, oh, I don't know if I could actually do this. I was actually pretty scared and like I felt it was a performance that could go absolutely horribly wrong. Um which uh, that kind of excited me. And I think like I was sort of, I, I knew I would have to work. And I think what was exciting was because the parts are very different to me, you know, in a completely different environment that I'm <laughs> I'm accustomed to, different accent. I think there was a lot that I could get stuck into straight away. Um, so yeah, and then I met you and the director who was incredible and gave really uh, exciting sort of movie references um, like Prisoners, um and just how he was going to you know just and he was really technical and I thought that was also quite um exciting so yeah and I met him and then uh Mimosa who plays Mariana the uh, police chief um she was just incredible so the kind of genuinely opportunity to work with her was really exciting to me as well so yeah um I, again, I, I, I want to go back to what I said that there, everything is not what it seems. So I want to, I, without getting into too much details, uh, yeah. Because through the final episode, I mean, we we keep getting thrown into different twists and turns. But through the final yeah. episode, we 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 expect something, but we get something different. And I wonder when when they get gave you the scripts, did you had the whole picture, or they just kept give you something just to keep the surprise, the the you know the whole surprise coming, or you had the whole picture from the I beginning. I had the whole picture, yeah. Sorry, I had the whole picture. I and I had read the book, um, which is again that very uh, ends the same way, mm -hmm. um, and again that was a really exciting thing to to to. That was one of the other reasons why I was so excited about the project is the way it completely commits to its um to its message or you know just complete you know the show is about death row and the death penalty and it really mm -hmm. does it, it commits to that idea which i found really exciting and i think quite interesting that the the uh, lead uh, character is such a sort of passenger in it all he has no um ownership he makes you know he is very much like a a pawn in the whole in the whole story which again was really yeah interesting and, and it's also about uh, you know the power of politics i mean there's there's so many themes that we're, we're in the in the story aside from death row and the whole power of politics i, yeah. I wonder uh were you surprised i mean you read the book were you surprised that uh, how your character went about and that they didn't stick to, you know uh stick away from the from the whole narrative of the book that they they just stick, stick to it yeah um no i was surprised and i think it's just it it definitely plays with sort of um uh sort of i don't know um story conventions the 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 plot and it kind of then like, pulls the rug underneath you and sort of sets up kind of stock you know archetype kind of characters archetype kind of story and you sort of think it's going to go somewhere and then it completely um veers off into the next direction um and hopefully, yeah, that's what people will sort of um, take from it. I hope that people kind of, you know, and again, and I think obviously that's what's helpful about having sort of, you know, with um, uh, Rosalind and Helmstrom being not American, having that sort of their kind of looking at that, looking at that world from a sort of outsider's viewpoint and with that kind of, kind of um, uh, uh, with, you know, they're just, they're very sort of, tough and sort of and they don't sort of you know they won't uh yeah hold back on anything i this is gonna be a difficult question maybe but what was the most difficult part of of, of channeling john and then create and 
going, getting into his shoes and into his character because it's so complicated, everything that is going to. What, what was so challenging? What's the most challenging thing for you? Um, yeah, it's a really good question. Um, so when I read the book, um, the thing that kind of uh, excited me and kind of I latched onto is that he's kind of in a constant state of trauma. He's just, he is, he's in a, he's in, there's not a moment even when he's sort of, I don't know, more, seemingly more relaxed he's just he is in a place of trauma the whole time mm -hmm. um, and I thought that was a really uh that was a real challenge and like a really exciting challenge of like okay how can you do that that isn't um exhausting for an audience and it's just one note and it's just you know then that would just become boring mm -hmm. um so I think but I felt it was really important that again as I was saying like he has no control of what's going on and he sort of never feels um he's someone who just was has never felt uh freedom or he's been able to have a choice in his entire life um you know I really wanted to capture that and so to kind of get yourself into that headspace of of someone and also you know of being on you know when I was doing the research on death row the kind of the levels of when you hear what you know people are you know a day what the day is like you know you're in those cells 23 hours a day they're tiny you know um and you don't know when you know your execution's gonna come i think that and the sort of you know the level of uh well, too heavy but the level of depression that you know that's a uh, that's an unbelievable amount of um you know that's sort of you know it's a form of torture in a way you know unbelievable turmoil to put on a human being mm -hmm. so kind of just to get that kind of state of yeah of of yeah of you know of being in being sort of constant trauma is that I, was a sort of challenge i want to take my hat off my hat off for you if I, if I could because i think your performance was amazing i mean you you oh, did you so great uh, with 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 your character with john and i i, I my, my you know i was so connected to you i'm like i kind of was like oh my god this is this is gonna happen this is really gonna happen obviously i'm talking about the last couple of episodes like, yeah, yeah, yeah no no come on don't don't go there <laughs> and i i'm think i'm already gonna give it too much away but before i let you go I want, and you already mentioned a little bit that you just maybe just dive a little bit more. Um, this such smart uh, series, such a smart, smart story. It's gonna obviously it's gonna the the thing that I like the most is gonna spark a conversation that yeah. an ongoing conversation. Uh, we, 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 we may say, but uh, uh, what do you what do you expect maybe people to to take away from it aside from that conversation that is gonna spark obviously. Yeah, um, it's a good yeah, great really question. I think. Do you know, it's one of those ones where, sorry, it might sound like a slight cop out, but it's like, I would never want to impose how I want someone to take away from that from that story. Mm -hmm. I think like that's completely up to the audience. Like if someone, if an audience was like, oh, actually this is just a, you know, murder mystery, something for me to kind of get into that side of it, that's completely fine. And if it does sort of, you know, um, sort of spark, as you said, like conversations, sort of, you know, challenges people or, whatever I think that's completely sort of you know and hope I mean I guess hopefully people care about the characters because I think if people don't care about the characters then like any really good story any good mm -hmm. show you know there's there's not much point if you don't care about the characters then there's mm -hmm. you're not really going to get anywhere it, you can have as strong a message as you would like but if people don't care about the characters then there's not much you can do so I hope people that was it I hope people care about the characters that they can invest I'm pretty sure everyone is going to going to create with the characters as much as I did. And Freddie, congratulations once again. I, I absolutely I couldn't hit stop. I just went I ate them all in one sitting because it oh, was such amazing. A good oh, thank you thank so you. much. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Great well, questions as well. Thank you. Thank you.